How to Take a Nose Swab Sample for Coronavirus, a guide for care home staff. This video is a guide to taking a nose swab from a resident to test for coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2. We need a sample from both nostrils of the resident's nose. The instruction sheets and kits provided may vary. Follow the instructions provided with your own kit. Although samples are commonly taken by doctors and nurses, you can take the sample safely yourself. If the resident cannot consent to the swab sampling, you must follow your usual practices to gain consent. You will need to wear your PPE to use the kit to take the sample. First, wash your hands carefully before putting on your personal protective equipment and opening the kit on a clean surface. Here is the full PPE you require. Apron, face mask, eye protection in case of the risk of splashing. This can be a visor, goggles or safety spectacles. You will also need gloves in the correct size. Note, you can continue to wear your surgical mask and eye protection when seeing several residents. However, you must change your apron and gloves and then wash your hands with soap and water between each resident. If soap and water is not available, please use alcohol hand gel or rub. The resident should be seated or sitting up in bed while you take the swab. Introduce yourself and explain what you are going to do and why the test is needed. Reassure the resident that this is a simple swab and it should not be painful, but may be a little uncomfortable. The kit should contain the following items. Do not open the swab packet until you are ready to swab the resident's nose. Your kit will include a request form and an instruction sheet. A plastic envelope. A packet containing the swab and a tube with liquid in. And a screw-topped container. The screw-topped container may be green or white. The kit shown is for demonstration purposes. Colours may vary. Please follow the instruction sheet in your own kit. Check the request form has the resident's name, address, postcode, date of birth and NHS number. Open the swab packet which contains the single swab and the tube. Only remove the swab by the stick end. Do not touch the sponge tip. Write the resident's name and the date of the sample on the outside label of the smaller tube. Ask the resident to tilt their head back a little. Place the tip of the cotton swab gently just inside their nostril and gently wipe around the inside of the nose. No force is needed and you do not have to push far into their nostril. Please repeat this using the same swab for their other nostril. Once you have taken the swab, carefully open the tube with the liquid in, unscrew the cap and then put the swab tip first into the tube. Then break off the plastic end. The breaking point is marked midway along the stick where it is thinner. Replace the cap on the tube, being careful not to spill the liquid. If your supplied swab does not come with a breaking point line, use a pair of scissors to cut it at roughly the halfway point so that the swab fits inside the tube when the lid is securely shut. Place the small clear tube with the swab inside into the larger screw top container. Screw on the lid of the larger container. Now follow the swab sample packing instructions which came with your kit. Check the form and make sure it has the resident's correct name, address, postcode, date of birth and NHS number and put it in the box or bag provided. Put the container into the plastic bag and roll it to remove the excess air. Seal and place in the box or bag. Put the folded form in the box with the blank plastic bag and close the box or bag if provided. Making sure you are two metres away from the resident, you can now remove your gloves, then apron, and dispose of them. Now wash your hands again with soap and water. If testing a number of residents, all the envelopes can be combined in one larger bag, as long as each individual bag contains the correctly labelled samples and matching completed request forms. It can take up to 72 hours from receiving the samples for the laboratory to return the results to the care home. The GP and HPT should also receive a copy of the results. Once you have completed taking the samples, they will be collected in line with local arrangements. Please follow the instructions in your test kit. Many thanks for completing this swab sample testing kit for COVID-19. For more information on getting tested for COVID-19, go to gov.uk forward slash guidance forward slash coronavirus COVID-19 getting tested. If you are worried about a resident's symptoms, please call NHS 111. With thanks to Guy's and St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust, and special thanks to staff Cecilia, Yusufa and Melanie. Public Health England. Protecting and improving the nation's health.